So it's an LG G4. We're going to do a data recovery chip off on this. So take it apart first. Just snaps apart. And then we've got about 13 screws to take out. to get to the main board. LGs are probably the easiest phones to work on because they, they take apart very easily. There's two more here. Okay, these come apart pretty easily. really need much of any tools they pretty much just unsnap make sure you got all the screws because if you're missing one it's not going to come apart you might break something there we go so that exposes the board and now we're gonna just remove the board See if there's any screws holding it on. Uh, better if we take the uh, unsnap the connectors here first. It'll come out nice and easy. It's three connectors. Video. Let's see if this thing come up. Four connectors. There we go. Okay, this right here is, is the memory chip. This is what we're going to be taking off uh, for the EMMC. So there's an epoxy filling under here. Uh, this is a really nasty underfill, uh, but we're going to heat it up, and as we heat it up, it'll start to ooze out. We get it to temperature, and then we'll uh, re remove it, lift it up, uh, applying hot, hot air over the top, preheat on the bottom, and then uh, we'll get we'll get the chip off. Okay, let's go. All right, so we're going to set this board up. We just took off the LG G4 on the preheater. Set to maximum temperature right now just to get this soaked in the heat so it's going to be easier to pry up. So once I set that up, it'll it'll stay here for oh maybe uh, five to ten minutes, get that temperature up, and then I'll apply hot air from the top uh, and then uh, try to remove the chip. Okay, it's been preheating for about five, ten minutes, and I'm gonna put some flux on the edges here. That'll uh, just make the separation a little bit easier. All right, so now we'll, uh, we'll put the fan on because it's going to bring up some, some smoke as we're heating up that flux. Turn on the hot air. That'll start to make that chip a little bit looser, put up the temperature, and then we'll take it off. Okay, that's that underfill is going to uh, make this a little more difficult. Some of the phones don't have the underfill, and 
the chips come off real easy. The LG G4 has got one of the worst ones for uh, the amount of underflow. I don't know why they put it under. They think it's going to help it be waterproof or, or what, but it's, it's just kind of a pain to work with. And even after we get it off, we have to do a real thorough cleaning of it. Getting that chip heated up, be a little more flux. It's not we're getting much action here. Okay, I want to get it. The temperature where it's going to be just cool up pretty easily without forcing it or prying it. You can see some of the parts moving around there, so it's getting up to temperature now. I'll move it around a little bit, get, get even heat distribution across the entire chip. That underfill makes it kind of sticky to get it under, so I don't want to force it, possibly damage the chip, but you have to make sure it gets up to temperature. It'll be pretty close now. You see that more black oozing out. Almost there. There we go. Okay. Now the next step is uh, we got to clean that up before we test it up. Uh, now that we remove the chip from the board, it's cooled down a little bit. We're going to uh, clean it. Uh, we've got to get all this uh, underfill off and uh, make sure those uh, uh, points on the chip are, are nice and shiny and isolated so that the fixture can read it. So first start by putting some uh, alcohol down. Just just so I got a good surface and doesn't stick to anything. Um, that's not going to clean up with alcohol though. It, it's going to need some heat. So I'm going to start with a kind of a lower temperature on the iron. And uh, this will get it, uh, get it, uh, some some of the things off of it. Okay. If we put some more flux on here, or I need a fan. Move it over here, just a little close to the fan. Okay, taking this flat side of the uh, soldering iron and just uh, getting it. Uh, so I can get the the flux melting with that uh, 
underfill to just get that get that clean off. Okay, chip's cleaning up nicely. Uh, we got uh, a little more to go through before we do the touch up. See that underfill getting cleaned up and we're getting away from the test points here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you've got to get substantially just about all the all it off. Just applying heat and flux and then uh, you know keeping it clean with isopropyl alcohol okay I'm gonna get this off of here kind of liquefies once you get enough heat on it If you dig too much, you'll expose some copper like I did there, but that should still be okay. I was going to go into the inner layers. Okay, it's ready for a cleaning now. Looks a lot better than it did at first. I'm going to take some solder and just go over those points on the bottom of the chip to get them nice and shiny. So put some solder on here, put some flux on. I try to apply the side until you get a nice shiny point. As many of these as possible. And that'll be picked up in the fixture very easily. Some points aren't connected, so they won't they won't get shiny. But the, the test fixture doesn't use all the points. It just uses maybe about 10% of them. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more cleaning with isopropyl alcohol, IPA. It's important to keep that chip flat because if it bends at all. You could, it could crack and then you, you could end up with no recovery. This is for a photo and video recovery from an G, LG G4 that was stuck in a boot loop. Okay, we're going to try this chip in a fixture and see if it works. Okay, we've cleaned up the chip and uh, we're going to try it in a fixture now. This is a fixture made by a company called Serata from China, uh, EMMC test socket 11.5 by 13. Uh, 
especially for the EMMC chip. So it'll fit the pattern that we have here. And uh, once you uh, open up the fixture, you're going to put it in. Watch orientation. So there's a uh, there's a little pin here. Uh, you can barely see it, but I'm going to match that up to this chip so I get in the right the right side and just be sure that that's that's going to go here. Yep, this is the right orientation here. It gets in there good and firm. Once this is inserted, the little pins in the bottom will make contact with the pins that are needed to read the chip. Uh, so this will go into a, a USB card reader. It's a regular SD format. So I'll put it in um, my uh, USB reader here. And it's blinking. It comes right up. It is a uh, going to be a good recovery. Uh, this show from here. This is our... Uh, it comes up as what it says an image. But you don't want to open this because this doesn't. This is only one file that is on the chip, and uh, you really have to use a program such as uh, WinHex or or R Studio um, in order to to get op get it open. I'm going to use uh, WinHex and uh, look for the uh, look for this chip. There it is, right there, a 32 gigabyte chip, and it's going to come up. reading the chip now and uh, what it will, it will show is that all the different partitions that are available so we're looking for the largest partition this is the it just happens to be the partition 55 at the top ext4 uh, we're gonna uh, take a new snapshot which basically is gonna read the chip from beginning to end uh, just takes a minute or two to get that uh, that, that reading and then we'll have a, a file a file system. This is a, a Linux ext4 file system that is is commonly used by these chips. Uh, almost all the ones use ext4 except Motorola, which is a uh, unique system called F2FS, and those. Uh, we, we pretty much do just raw recoveries on those, but this will give us a file system. Uh, where we can just go right into the uh, directories and grab the photos and videos for the customer and uh, whatever else they, they may want. All right, so just finished, and we have the whole uh, Android file system here. Uh, you don't have to worry. There's so many uh, different folders. We're just looking for uh, photos and videos here, so we're going to click on, on Media. And uh, the first one, zero. And it brings up uh, everything that this phone is storing in media, but we're just looking for this one folder, DCIM. Click that, and then in the camera folder, and there's all the pictures uh, that customers save. Looks like we have uh, several hundred pictures. So uh, this is a, the customer's personal information. I won't go any further here. But you can see this is a successful recovery from uh, an LG G4 that was stuck in boot loop using a chip off method. Thank you for watching.